Hello, darlings. It is another day of pal worlding it up. Let's go ahead and start the game. Let's go ahead and enter the world. Day 25 for day 9, level 19. Mm. I have some specific goals I want to begin with and I want to frame. Oops. Get that out of there. Uh, so, I I'm sort of interested lately in the survival crafting genre. And by lately, I mean in the last 10 days. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Pal World. I have played Enshrouded yesterday. And I'm sort of fascinated by the survival crafting genre for a few reasons. Obviously, Minecraft is like this astonishing achievement in anything interactive. I mean, it's beautiful. I feel like from there, we started to see a lot of games where you could tunnel and craft and dig and build and do all manner of other things. But I feel like since Minecraft, this genre has been... generally terrible. And let me... Hold on. Just let me, let me finish, okay? It's been so bad. Let me finish, okay? Let me get through my thought. Have there been excellent survival crafting games? Yes! They have existed. I remember playing Valheim when it released, and I was like, oh, this is quite nice. But the average survival crafting game is both terrible, and there's so many of them. Or maybe the median survival crafting game, right? Um, and there's games like Subnautica that's probably my favorite of all in this entire genre that just has, oh my goodness, story and a through line and all the construction is motivated and it's interesting. Oh, it's so good. And I think it's an interesting question. Like, why, why is that? Why are there so many games that are eh, that are eh in this genre? All right, where, where's my weapons? Oh no, where's my raiders? Oh. And what is it that makes them eh? And the thing is that, like, um, there's something that I really want... Does this pause? No, no one cares. There's something I want to note about what makes them eh, what makes them great. I think a game that has, like... Every game will have 50 qualities to them, and I think you only need to have 10 of them be excellent to have a smash hit. So just because something is bad doesn't mean that, oh, I found the one bad thing. Oh, game's terrible. Oh. But what it does mean is that for those things that are good, I wanna know. Get them, guys. I want to know, like, what is it that's making it good, and so on. This pathing is so comical. Yo, we're powerful. Give me stuff, give me stuff. What is it that makes this game good? What is it that makes this game not so good? You know, what, what, just, I want to learn more about this genre. I really want to learn more. And so, if I had to MS Paint a little bit of my experience in this game... Where's my mouse cursor? There it is. Too many monitors hooked up, I lose that mouse cursor. If I had to, like, sort of graph my experience in this... Alright, here's, here's 10. Here's 0. Here's the quality going up. Here's my gameplay over time. The first few hours were like this, and I feel like this has been my rough experience. Here's here's like maybe hour five. I was just like, yo, this game rules. This is the greatest thing ever. And then like over time, I'm just like, eh. And I it makes me wonder, like, if I keep playing, will it just like do this again? Maybe not get back to a 10, but like, you know, will it, will it keep going? Because I know a lot of survival crafting, oh shit, type games do have this kind of quality to them where you really have to start getting into the meat and bones of some of the difficulties and so on. So I think that what I have decided I'm going to do... Oopsie daisies, I need to deposit some turkeys. I think what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to actually finish Rain's Syndicate Tower, which 
I just sort of neglected doing and wanted to do other things. And I want to try to maybe understand what are some other goals that I can go for. Because let me frame where I have been in that low point. I have basically said, here's my main goal. Keep upgrading the base. Keep upgrading the base. Keep upgrading the base. Keep upgrading the base. If I'm continuing to upgrade the base, I need to build a weapon workbench. And if I go to my uh, crafting menu, the weapon workbench is down here. So I just need to level up. And I'm sure when I build this, get to the next stage of base progression, I will need to maybe build something that's level 23. So then I'll just want to grind levels. So I feel like that's the sort of loop I've been in, which is just like, go grind levels, come back, unlock some stuff. Go grind levels, come back, unlock some stuff. I've had no restrictions or problems getting any of the resources that I, that I need. I've had no problem slaying pal after pal after pal. Oh yeah, F, deposit. Where's my where's my knight guy? Sort by oops level. Oh yeah, I have a masanda. It's an artisan. Yo, dude. Three for transporting. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the base. See you later, alligator. Actually, wait a minute. What's the things I can do? Handiwork, transporting, farming? I think I do need one of these. Oh, yeah. Put you in for transpo. Transpo duty. All right. Let's get you in there. And this is my level 20 Nightwing. Great. And do I have that Nightwing saddle? Do I have it? Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Tornado attack? Oh my god. So what happens if I run out of stamina? Nothing! Literally nothing! What's wind cutter? What's the difference between these two? Sick. All right. Okay. So let me let me let me come back to what I was saying. Oh, yeah, there that is. But I want to go up here. Ah. But yeah, I've been stuck in this loop of just grind for levels, unlock the next thing. Grind for levels, unlock the next thing. And I kind of want to just see what this is like. Oh, dude. I can't wait for Nightfall. Dude, I didn't even realize those were bones. Cool. So if I stand still, do I get more stamina? Yeah, um, uh, Shadowcast, one of the big reasons why I wanted to play this is that I played Pal World. Uh, let me try it again. Um, I played in Shrouded, and I was like, eh? And of course, a lot of people were like, dude, 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 you need to just keep playing in Shrouded. You need to keep playing. You need to keep playing. And that kind of interested me. And I was just having more fun with Pal World. And I said to myself, okay, if I was going to pick one of these to just keep playing, which one would I select to keep playing? And I went, yeah, let me do this. And I mean, that's about it. It was not very complicated logic.
I also think that needing to aim and shoot actually adds so much. Dish mount. Uh, let's see here. Epitax said, I heard in Croaky's stream today you have a no tolerance to people saying why not. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I will share this little bit of wisdom before I then do this gaming thing. All right, I'm ready. Crossbow and a grappling gun? All right, I guess I'm ready. Okay. So, why not is a really natural way to communicate that has some problems. First of all, it's very natural because let's say that I am using this Nightwing as a pal, but you also saw that I had, you know, the, the, the King Llama, whatever it was called. And you think, well, wait, I would have used the King Llama. Why is Sean using the Nightwing? And then you like type in, why not use the King Llama? And the problem with this kind of communication is that it fundamentally is dependent upon what's going on in your head, and I can't know that. And it also um, sort of creates a situation where there is an, it implies to me, Sean, you had some logic and some reasoning as to why you didn't do something. So tell me that. Um, and now on a scale of one to 10, this is not a 10 of pain that you're causing. It's like a two. It's a tiny bit of pressure that you're putting on the other person. As a simple example, just next time you're chatting with someone, just ask them a question. And then when they answer, ask another question. And then when they answer, ask them another question. And just keep asking questions, and it'll just start to escalate. So, Jackal Brohan. Uh, Jackal Brohan, I'm just going to give you a brief timeout. If you can um, type more sensibly instead of um, sort of spamming, I'd appreciate it. We like complete senses here. And so um, th the true answer for, Sean, why didn't I choose King Llama? The actual answer to that is, oh, because I didn't. That's it. I mean, that's literally the entire logic. Because there, w there wasn't any. Sean, you know, why, why, why are you wearing that shirt today? I might have an answer for that. Sean, why didn't you wear a blue shirt today? Oh, because I wore this shirt. That's it. And so... Um, a, a much cleaner way to communicate is saying, here's my thought process. What do you think about that? So instead of why not the King Llama, say like, hey, I would have used the King Llama because of X, Y, Z. Have you considered using it? There you go. And notice how it's immediately much more, uh, it's much less adversarial, it's much more pleasant and uplifting. You know, just like, hey, here's some thoughts, what do you think? I'm just sharing my thoughts, I'm just interacting with you. It's much more social, it's much more just sort of basic, thoughtful communication. Join the boss battle. And I mean, like, like the simple statement is any time Someone says, why not do X? Couldn't you just, just do X? Anytime there's a negation, it almost always can be framed as a declarative sentence. What are your thoughts? Almost always. All right, it's this shit again. Zoe and Grizzbolt. Grizzbolt is a great name. I think I'm nowhere near strong enough for this. Or am I? Oh, I'm interpenetrating the Grizzbolt. I'm missing a lot. I forgot to bring more Pokey Pals. I literally forgot to bring more. Oh god, I was so busy listening to myself! Oh, what a nightmare!
Yeah, shoot me, shoot me. All right, there, there's the charge up. Oh no, Sheriff's meowing. Oh no, my cat. That hurts. What level am I? I'm 19. Come on back, baby. Check something in a sec. So these are the abilities that this guy has. Do I have any more food here? No. Is this Elden Ring? I mean, I will say, I think that one of the things that it feels like the whole gaming industry started to learn after Dark Souls is that, like, telegraphed attacks like this with slightly slower-paced combat is just, is just it. It is reliable. It is effective. Obviously, it's not the only way to do combat, you know. <laughs> Games like, oh shit, like Bayonetta. Some of the Devil May Cry games had really fast-paced... Um, I can't see myself. Had really fast-paced combat in a lot of places, and it was really fun. Sheriff. Oh, for God's sake, Share Bear. See, it's 1300 so I need if I if I get headshots that's 30 arrows and I have 46 okay so I should not miss like that ow oh shit oh shit come back out ah camera souls Sheriff, no! Getting close. Oh, shit. Dude, my cat meowing is so distracting. I'm not distracted by anything except that cat. shoot you. Oh, come on. Boss eliminated. Sheriff, be quiet. Rain Syndicate Tower. Our Nightwing stay alive, just tuck Nightwing away. F. Oh, 
Oh, hello. I didn't, I didn't realize that was that time. Do I still have Manfred? Yeah, look, Manfred's like right here. Look, Manfred even just rocks out and matches my stuff. Hey. You don't have to meow at the door if you want attention. Yeah, here you go. Here is here is my little brown here's my little brown cat. Oh, you don't want the car wash right now, do you? Get off, Dad! I want to meow at doors. <laughs> Fucking goober. I have two cats. I do. I have Sheriff Despy. My wing wang is down. All right, I'm gonna go back to my birds. She gone goober. She is. She's a goober. <laughs> the one true cat girl says somebody's looking good today. I'm talking about you, Sean. Looking good. Oh my god! Thank you. God dabbing isn't cool, and that's why it's so fun. Um. But seriously, thank you. Send them off. I um, I've been trying to lose weight by by controlling my portions. You're not gonna believe this, but did you know if you eat a lot of calories, you gain weight, and if you stop doing that, you lose weight? Isn't that crazy? Now, of course, I know there's various medical conditions that will variate that. Uh, you know, I know someone that was like consuming a thousand calories a day and like didn't lose weight, and there's like some medical issue that they had. Like, I I understand this. But I want to let you know. I'm pretty much like just someone that if they eat more calories than they burn, they gain weight. And I have been losing them because I've been not eating as much. It's crazy. It's crazy in the coconut. But food tastes so good. Dude, I know. I treated myself to some Taco Bell tonight. Which for any of you who don't know, there's Mexican food and there's Taco Bell. And if you tried to make a Venn diagram, they would not touch. And I got some Taco Bell. But I was very careful to get a small amount of Taco Bell. Mm. There it is. I should turn the air on. It's really quite hot. I have returned. Hey, it even got bright out. Alright, so if I go to my technology, my level 20, alright, I like lots of the ingots. I don't need the feed bag. Oh, I'm, I'm just, I just need ingots. In God's o'clock, I just I just stood up and realized that I was sweating. Has it ever happened to you? Because I it, I knew it was hot back here. Um, but like I stood up, and then when I sat back down, the back of my shirt was like damp, and like my booty was damp, and I'm like, oh, I was quite hot streaming. And I think you find me quite hot streaming. If you know what I mean? I'm in Godding. Sean Plot gets the ingot. Dude, ingot, ingot, it's such a stupid word. It's just a goofy, stupid, derpy, dummy word. Oh my god, Hunter on Twitch! Hey, Hunter on Twitch, did you find the right broom? Make sure to smell some aglets for me. You, you're all mean, to be clear. Do I have a fire starter here? A twisted fire starter? I do. Oh, fuck. 
can get back in there. Bing bong. What up, Swiss? Park Talks, is this, this looks like the perfect game for grinding and chatting. I know. I know. It is so good. It is so good. Let me get another fire starter in here. Another twisted fire starter. <laughs> oh, God. I'm... I'm hungry. Mmm, hungry. So... I don't know a lot about Ron DeSantis' campaign for president, but I do know the most memorable part was him going, mmm, hungry. <laughs> what campaign, right? And poof, away he went. Oh, Cremus messed up so bad. Mmm, hungry. Anyways. Anyways, I won't bring up any more bad memories like that for y'all again. But yeah, no, the, the, the pace of this is really chill. And it's really nice just to have, have a nice little breather. Because uh, coming up next week, look at this. Whoa! We're doing a whole bunch of Magic the Gathering. And next week you can see MTGA Murders of Karlov coming out. And tomorrow we're taking a look at the Global Game Jams games. That were made in Dot Big Bang. Dot Big Bang, of course, platform made by buddies of mine. Therefore, I'm deeply biased. And then coming up in February, definitely going to do a little Age of Empires 2. It's going to be fun. And March, assuming my internet actually gets fixed, it's been mostly okay, but still having a lot of um, throughput issues on my upbound. It's going to be Blizzard Month. Going to be doing StarCraft, StarCraft 2, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, my first ever playing of World of uh, Warcraft. Sorry, everyone, I was flirting. Are you playing Wild Season Discovery or Main Retail? I haven't, I haven't quite decided yet. Any plan for Hots in there? 100%. Asmodan needs to dunk. 100%. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey says, any thoughts on Global Game Jam being sponsored by an AI company? I mean, I think that's a, I, I think it's just a bad idea right now. I think that was somebody makey a mistakey. Because, uh, I mean, like, like, there's been a lot of conversation about AI and, wow, as a content creator, you know what? I love repeating myself, so let's do it. Um, AI can do amazing things. It feels really bad if someone is training an AI... Oh, shit. Training AI on your stuff without your permission. It feels bad. And probably what will happen is some laws or something like ethical AI was used. Meaning we only trained on stuff that we paid for, etc. Um, I'm sure there's going to be some ethical... St oh, what's this? Only berries. I mean, I'm sure that sort of stuff is going to eventually be in place, but it's, like, not in place. So, like, people just associate AI with, like, stealing artist work. So, I don't know. I, I, I just... I saw that, and I was like, oh, guys. <laughs> oh, you make... A bunch of Florgans. Need more stone.
So, na, da ist das. Yeah, so, I mean, like, like eventually, I think that there will... Because, I mean, AI is, like, way too broad a term. I think that when people say that, they mostly mean the generative AI that is training on other people's art and then producing art, a.k.a. generating it from the stuff that it was trained on without permission. Oh, my God. Um, but, there, I mean, like, that that's very different from AI in general. Like, all of these dudes are being managed by AI. You know, like, tons of tools have improvements as a result of AI. But uh, I think that, like, currently, a game jam, like, taking an AI sponsor when a lot of stuff hasn't been figured out, I just think is... I think th I think that is to make you a mistake. Uh, sure, I'm gonna try some stamina. Why not? So, what do I do now? We're going to try to make a weapon workbench. We need ingots. Okay, where's the weakened one? Right, let's get rid of that guy. Bring in this guy. Welcome. To the Twitch says, can you train generative AI slash neural network on your own work without it being pre-trained? Yeah, because th there's there's a couple pieces to making a neural network. There is the input data and how the inputs are set up. There's the brain, which is basically the neurons that are actually like doing the math. There's the outputs and how the outputs are interpreted. There is the, um, and then there is the process by which it takes data, gets an output, receives a good or bad signal on what the output is, and then adjusts its brain and how it does that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, let me, let me, let me try to steer us all away from getting overly sucked into conversations about AI. And bring us back to the game. Because, again, this question was just like, hey, Sean, what do you think about a specific sponsor for Global Game Jam. And, you know, that's my answer to that. So let's see. So I should be able to get some ingots. Oh, no, so for some reason, stamina seems to be a popular mechanic in survival crafting games, and it's often very annoying. You like the use of it? I think stamina is a good mechanic. I think it makes you pay attention. Oh my god, it's a mega grappling gun, and I just need more ingots. Ingots. Fire, arrow, crossbow. So let me see this. So this is three, three, and one. Is it cheaper here than at the primitive workbench? Three, three, and one. Three, three, and one. I don't understand the difference. Hmm. Rodex, I didn't get to finish your stream of Enshroud. What were your thoughts on that game? That game, the big thing that I experienced was virtually no emotional spikes whatsoever. I'm going to get a mega grappling gun. It was very, very fine. It's fine. It was fine. This is never getting done. All right, so while that is making, let me see how many bolts I have. I have 37 from heaven. How do, I, how do I get this? Here's the angle. Aaron Twice says, are you saying it was mid, as the kids would say? You know what? I wouldn't say it was mid, because Aaron 2A, I don't need a summary word largely used by hip modern humans. I come up with my own sentences that are way too... Ah! Ah! I come up with my own sentences that take way more words than they need. 
to mean precisely what I mean. That response was mid. Okay, I've been owned. <laughs> Fuck, I don't like being owned. Ah! So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to wander around a little bit, I think. Let me just uh, upgrade La Manche, build fluffy pal bed, deploy a pal to work in the base. So here, here's what I was talking about earlier, because I go, oh, fluffy pal bed. What do I need to get a fluffy pal bed? Level 24. Okay, I guess I go get level 24. And so now I'm sort of just like big giga eye roller -oni. out with some mega spheres. All right. All right. So fast travel. Me and my alpaca are gonna go over here, wander about. Yeah, cause like, okay. So, so the um, the my emotional feel of this game, and I think I've decided that I give games rating over time. I give this game like a ten out of ten for the first few hours, then quickly descending down to where I'm at right now, where I'm actually having a nice. Having a pretty good time. I'm having a pretty good time. I would still give this like a 4 or 5 out of 10 experience like for this slice of time. Because what I feel I need to do right now is just dilly-dally until I'm high enough level. Because th there's no resources that I can get to speed this up outside of murder. Time to go due south. So the way that I feel about this game is that the combat is it's, all, it's pretty, I mean, it's competent. And frankly, the aiming and shooting is very satisfying. But I mean, the combat's really not complicated. And the rewards uh, for, you know, going into a dungeon, finding a dungeon. Popping out the other side. Oh, there's a boss. Very trivial to kill. Done. Easy. Ugh. Ugh. So, I mean, like, it, it, it's sort of like, okay, just literally fart around until you're level 24, and then you'll get to level up your base. Done. So, you know. It feels very flat and one-dimensional to me, and that's fine. Beautiful to wander around in. I think it's quite pretty. But I'm trying to make myself keep playing, because I'm just curious what this survival experience might be like later on. Hmm? Need more pal spheres. Like that's pretty fun to shoot, bro. was I talking about? Oh, and Shrouded, that's right. Yeah, so my evaluation of this game is that I'm kind of at the flat part, where I think I just need to go around and I need to collect as many Pokemans as I can. Oh, excuse me, pals. Because that seems to be the best way to gain XP. I think if the combat was more interesting and the boss were more interesting, they might compel me a little more. In Shrouded, I, uh, the, the feeling I got when I was playing in Shrouded is that I, I didn't have any emotional spikes at all. It, it, felt, it felt solid. I don't keep hearing notes from Dancing in the Moonlight. What song is that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. procedural I believe it's the same for everyone this is 
is why I'm fascinated by this genre, man. It's just like th th there are so many players of survival crafting games, and I feel like survival crafting has just not been nailed. So I haven't done any exploring over here. I remember Day Nine's first day off with FTL. Oh, dude, Flippy Killer, so good. Yeah, Project Zomboid is another game where when I learned a little bit about how the base building worked in that game, I was like, oh. This is a lot, like, you have to literally walk backwards and hit zombies in the head for so long. I am gonna I am gonna get this thug. Aiming and shooting is so fun. Considered inhumane. A rib bunny. Killing a human is... Killing a human is considered inhumane, but killing them is not. It's so good. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, need to reload. I'm also excited to go up a level and get that musket. Can I actually get it right now? You put people in pal balls? Yeah. I mean, they are my pals, after all. See, down here is a, a, a muscat. I forgot to level up, didn't I? Oh, no, this is me that needs to level up. High-quality pal oil? Floop, floop, a doop, a doop, boop. Yeah, I'll go this way. Why not? What's your favorite pal so far? Uh, probably the Nightwing. Although I think this guy's awesome. Fucking King Paka. Oh. Oh. This this is this is what I looked like at my at my height in the pandemic. Can I talk about my favorite, or are you not wanting spoil? You know, go ahead, Real Wester, go ahead. For you specifically, oops, and no one else. So, um, Hadik, your message got uh, deleted due to backseating, but, I mean, I'll, I'll still respond to it. Because uh, I think it's, uh, it, it, I think this represents somewhat what I mean by lack of motivation in the game. Oh, he says you should focus more on leveling up your team of pals, using them for combat, than fighting everything yourself. It makes a big difference. I have found none of the combat challenging, with some rare exceptions where I brought them out, and for that reason, I just don't really have that big of a motivation to like level up my turkeys. You know, I, I've been leveling up my Nightwing, which has been nice.
Oh my god, it's my, it's my syndicate thug. Horrifying noises coming out at night. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you ever have Taco Bell, and right when you're getting ready to go to bed, your gut's just like... Make the noise! Make the noise! Make the noise! Make the noise! That was a good setup! That was a good setup! You agree it was a good setup! Why isn't it making the noise? Do I need to click on another thing? Okay, I see now. Okay, watch this really great setup. This is gonna be really good. Hey, have you ever eaten some Taco Bell? And then right when you're sitting down to watch some TV, your gut's like... The payoff was incredible, wasn't it? I told you it was a good setup. Fucking knocking it out of the park. Man, that's why they pay me the medium-sized bucks. All right there, baby. Fuck. <laughs> Jeez. Riveting stuff, day nine. Alright, well, I can't see anything, and I don't see one of these birds nearby, so let's suffer. Which probably do you feel the worst about murdering you so far? None of them. My opponents in StarCraft 1. There's no birds nearby? Alright. It's a daydream. Oh my god, look at those little high velocity corpses. <laughs> Aaron, does you ever feel bad about beating someone? Yeah, no, I, I, I have a lot of issues with that because, like, you know, for me, the idea of making someone feel upset or bad does not cause me to feel power or glee or delight. I feel guilty. And I've gotten a lot better about that over time. You know, for instance, Sean, please help me with my project. I need you to tweet it. If you don't tweet it, the company fails! You know, like this sort of stuff. I'm much more comfortable now going, no, I'm not going to do that. But like when I was a kid and I'd play things competitively, I liked the validation it would give me that I was succeeding at a thing, that I used this whole noggin to figure out this game, and I won? Yeah! But then, you know, I remember... I literally remember having a LAN party before a tournament with another very good American player. And and I I I'd won like five games in a row. And I just I just started throwing. <laughs> because I, I could I could feel him getting more and more angry. Oops. Shit. Defense pendant. Oh, it was the least punk. Stupid reloading. Alright, so if I hit tab and then I go to this. It's an accessory that slightly raises defense. How much? Slightly. Found the number. Did he get any angrier when you threw it? Well, the thing is that Brood War is such a difficult game, Bruce Malt, that it, like, hangs on Razor's Edge. So if I just miss Micro, my Mutalists, exactly one time, I would do that in normal games. Everyone does that at some point. You know, you just do a little mistake here, a little mistake there. It's easy. It's easy to throw. It's how Savior did it. What's this? What's this? Get him! What is this shit? Oh, Incineram? That's the funniest fucking name I've ever heard. 
Incineram. Oh my god, Derp Sources would ever throw versus Tasteless. I couldn't throw versus Tasteless if I tried. He does it again! D9! Yeah! Got him! Pow! Easy! 1 and 0. Oh. No re. Although, if we're being, if we're actually being accurate, uh, Nick would absolutely smack me if we played a game of Brutal War today. Because he's been playing a lot. What a beautiful tree! I shall cut it down. This genre is so good. I like this genre. Wow, that's a high level tree right there, huh? Alright, come back, pal, Paka. I'll need to remember that there's an Incineram. Can I, like, name these markers? Is that I do the thing with the tree? I mean, I tried to chippity chop chop it down, didn't work. We can name markers and bases. Yeah. Me too. Oh no. Oh no. No. Uh. When pals evolve, or do they just stay their same uh, selves all the time? Yeah, they 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 stay. Because I think that Nintendo is waiting for evolution, or they descend. Is there fall damage? There sure is, Glacier 9. Not when you're this light on your feet. I know. It's a little, a little easy. Dinosaur is slacking off. Yeah! Yeah! Just trying to level. Dude, Mapas is good evening, day 9. Thanks for playing Prince of Persia the other day bought it because of it and I'm having so much fun. It is so good. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown is the best game I've played all year. And I know we're in January, so fuck you. <laughs> I know. I know what I said. <laughs> Magic says your bum is the only reason you're taking fall damage. Yeah, I got a Brazilian butt lift and it turned me into a Brazilian butt lift. Jokes are funnier when your voice cracks. So that's the way I haven't gone? All right. Ah, and we're fine. Uh. Hold on, my audio's. Uh oh, wait. Oh no. Despy chewed on the, on the headset. I've kept this one alive for a long time. Unless you're hearing the audio. Skip. Are, are you hearing any audio? Getting crispy? Are you hearing any crispies? So. Like now I'm only hearing it out of my right ear. Do you hear it out of the right ear? Fine. Fuck, it's my headset. <laughs> Despy, no! It's okay. So okay, these headphones are $11. I'm not worried. Oh, is there a nice hole? No, it's just a flat part. Mm 
Nice phrase there. Thanks, River 8. Doesn't have the range. Getting him. Nice hole, winky face. I know, I know. Hole is right up there with the funniest words of all. Same thing with bone. Bone's a funny word. Gulash Nihau says, oh my god, it's day nine. Hello. Capturing another human. Just bombing in. Oh, we're doing well, man. I'm doing great. I'm doing really good. Oh my god, you have unused stat points. Uh, I don't know. Why not? See, no value in doing anything else. Hi. Bye. Oh, come. Oh, I missed? Gun stays there. Vivi. Vivi. Humans are no pals. Oh, they're pals of mine. Yeah. You're gonna run out of spheres. 17% my ass. This is a one in six chance, and I've used way more than six of these. There it is. La da da ba ba. Open up. Yeah, uh, schedule for the week, Rick. Uh, next week is the new Magic set, so next week is going to be all Magic the Gathering. And the sort of decision I made with Baldur's Gate 3 is it is 100%, 100% going to be a game that I revisit and beat all the way through. In the short term, though, probably going to wait a little bit, and then when I do play it, I'm not going to do it once a week, once a week, once a week. I'm going to, like, do it for the whole week, or maybe two weeks in a row. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Do you like my new snazzy calendar button? Isn't it nice? You left the pal in the cage. Did I? You know what? Good. It's the only pal that's going to escape me. Ah, oh, shit. Not that noise again. I love that noise. Looking at me as he's going by. Did you tell a joke about that noise? Uh, I've already done that today, Shifty, and it was so good I wouldn't want to spoil it again. Did I in Baldur's Gate 3? Why restart? I don't know why I said, um, uh, th the way I said it, I don't know why I phrased it in a way that it would imply that I would begin the game over, but I mean, like, start back up my playthrough of it. I'm going to play Baldur's Gate 3 all the way through from where that save point is. I'm just going to take a little bit of a Baldur's Gate 3 break. Do you enjoy running around catching pals and exploring? You know what? I will describe it as incredibly pleasant. Oh, this fucking thing is damaged. I don't Bit of a Baldur's Break 3. That's right. That's exactly right. I think that the big thing, Max Escape, that I like about this game is that you actually have to aim. And aiming and shooting is just 
really satisfying. Like, in general, and it is very well implemented in this game. Oops. A little too good. Bamboo crows. <laughs> Don't worry, Rick a million. Oh, you're actually Rick a hundred thousand. Oh my god. Well, you look like a million bucks, if I'm being honest. A woolly pop. But yeah, no, like, I I have full control over this chat, so don't don't you ever worry about like, oh, I have concerns that I, oops. I'm like distracting or something like that. We're literally going to do this the entire time. Oh. Oops. Tried to time it. Oh, farted at me. Got it. You can't see how many balls you have, Sean. Oh, that's right. I'm. Here's my balls. I got him so mature. Here's my balls. Uh, 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 uh. Do you want to hear a joke? Here's my balls. Uh, 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 uh. Please like and subscribe. Acquire a technology point. Mm. Master Mark says your balls are so blue. <laughs> well, I have... Because I know the direction that you want to take it in, which is blue balls, but I'm going to take it somewhere else. I have green and yellow balls, too. Let me bring you to my ball station. <laughs> yeah, let me queue up my balls. This is my friend Upma. Queue up my balls. Uh, they're actually spheres. You're right. Got me. How did I get high quality pal oil? How did I get high quality pal oil? How did I get high quality pal oil? What? Time to dump this garbage into a crate. Uh, is there anything sort that I can use here? I make one of those things. Now, I think some of you know why I'm building this. <laughs> All right. So I can do this. Yeah, I, I see people starting to give back seating tips. Everybody, chill. Stone again. Todd Norris is Dana not doing any uh, event hosting, retired from desk duty? Pretty much, pretty much. Oh, get out of here. It's it's a lot of work, and in particular, it's a lot of intensity. And I just don't... I don't have the mental space for that in my soul right now. This 
going on here? All right, this is got a lot of emotions happening here from Lavender. Yeah, I mean, like, so, I stream, and streaming streaming has always been way better than doing event work. Like, always, in terms of stress, pay, ev everything. It's always been way, 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 way better. But I like doing events. I really, I really do. But I have slowly been focusing more and more and more and more and more over time on doing more, um, streaming stuff, but also now that I run a game studio, I run it. That's actually a very bold statement. I happen to be the CEO of a game studio and then a bunch of very talented people do a lot of really good stuff. And I occasionally show up and attend their brilliance. Where's this other turkey? In timeout down there? And so many more ingots. Wait, didn't I just dump a bunch of ingots? I think I used them to build this stuff. Damn. So, this is the first time ever that I actually feel a need to make something that can generate some ore. It's like the very first time. So the stone pit. Is there an ore pit? Is there a thing? Oh my god, yeah. Got it. So let me do this. Yeah, fluffy pal bed. So let's see here. Starting here, sign bet. Poison arrow, tropical apple, sandbag, harness. Three shot bow, meat cleaver, ichthyr saddle. Training dummy, torch, cage. Eater, stone structure, toolbox, whatever. Stun baton. King Packa saddle, hell yeah. my god, this is amazing news. This is amazing news. We have motivation to do something! We have motivation! I don't see a way to generate stone, but you know what I do have? I can fast travel all the way to the, this is the desolate church that has a bunch of stone, or excuse me, ore. It has a lot of ore. Huh. Here we go. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. JTS is me of Cheesecake and Crumbs fame. Coming at us with the hots. 
10 tier once. Thanks, Jacob. Hope you feel better today, buddy. I feel a lot better. Now that I'm not playing in Shrouded. He did it! No, D9! No! Is there any... Is there any Paldium nearby? You know what? It doesn't matter. 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10. Yeah, I mean, like, really. I think that there is a opportunity to play more and maybe have more good stuff happen, but when I played... Shouldn't get there. King of Manor says it seems alpha of alpha. It actually seemed like it had a lot of polish. Like a lot of polish. Like a lot of good stuff going on. Good UI. The construction system seemed excellent. It seems like they have a pretty robust set of systems, but the way in which they were connected together felt so flat. Oh, is that enough? <gasps> Ha 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 Lucan Hasta Zika. Sustain, I love you stream. Wow, well, I love having you here. Pile box management menu. Alright, so. Oops. So, hmm. Epic Player Vitas, can I tell you something you'll probably be confused about in like five minutes? No. Mm mm. Uh, but, like, broadly speaking, I, I feel like I have a lot of goals and things that I'm tracking right now. And so, because of that, I, I'd rather wait until I start to lack that. This would be a more accurate answer. Confusion and wanting to overcome it. Yes, Ghost Talk Root is a feature and not a bug. Are you going to go work? stone around here. Alright, got some stone. What? Oh my god, my base. Why does it not... Look at that. Did that problem just go away?
Okay, I guess we're just chilling. I don't know the mining skill or what. But I'm gonna futz around after I deal with this danger. Oh shit, I don't have any bows. <laughs> I don't have any arrows, excuse me. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Give me that. Give me that. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what's happening here. Rescuing? Oh, I thought he was dumping the body. Alright, let me get me out of here. <laughs> Alright, everyone, there's something there's something happening here. Danger! What is happening here? I did it. All right, all right, I think they clipped through the world. Woo! Clipping through the world, baby. Can't really see anything, but I don't know if I need to, because I can. All right, so I'm standing on something. Flower Blows is weird how blatantly this game rips off. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm gonna, wait, where, where, where is the stain? Because I think this is an interesting one. How does, how does, how does this thread shit work? Flar blow. Da, da, da. It's weird how blatantly this game rips off elements of other games. Ah, that's, that's the full, that's the full statement. So let me, let me find a fast travel point. Aha, it's in front of me. Um. I actually think that this game is doing... Whoops, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so hungry. I always forget to eat, and when I do, I only eat berries. You would not believe how punishing it is to be my toilet. <laughs> um, so, on the topic of rip-offs, ripping off game mechanics... Um, for me, I, I think that it, it needs to be so... Okay, so so first of all, do rip-offs in a, in a literal sense exist? Yeah, sure, you can look at all the mobile Match 3 games that are just like, Oh my god, I have a great idea. Oh god, what if you just did Match 3 and that was it and then you're done? Like, do we do it? Are we going to be as successful as Candy Crush Saga? Please! But I really genuinely, genuinely think that... When I look at something like this that has some of the combat drawn from one game, has some of the collection that you're familiar with from Pokemon, has some of the base building stuff that's more reminiscent of traditional survival crafting, has some of the automation stuff that's reminiscent of newer automation genres. Um, each of those, I kind of view as like different ingredients. And I really liked, um, oh, I'm, I'm too heavy. I'm sorry, I'm so big. I gotta drop some stuff. I like Ben Brode's talk at GDC where he described that, like, tomatoes, wheat, and basil uh, and cheese could be used to make a pasta or it could be used to make a pizza. There is so... Just because you have those ingredients doesn't mean that you automatically get the same output. There is so much decision-making and choice and complexity into making pasta and then making you know uh, a good sauce and then the cheese on top 
that then feels and tastes, or feels different in process and tastes different in experience from pizza. This is kind of how I think about these elements. I think that if you, as someone who has literally, 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 literally said, I am going to make a prototype where I am just recreating that game. Why? Because I'm trying to work on a programming skill or I'm trying to learn some new tool or plugin in Unity or Unreal. So I'm just going to try to make that game again. I mean, you would not believe how I literally am trying to clone the game. I'm literally trying to remake that game. And it just feels so different. There's so many little choices and there's problems and I try to fix it just to make it fun for me to play. And then you know what happens? It just feels like a totally different game from the other one. And I'm like, wow, damn. And so in that regard, In that regard, the fact that this game takes all these disparate ingredients from different uh, genres and different games and blends them together in a way that actually feels pretty seamless, that's really impressive to me that they were able to assemble that. And, you know, I was comparing the pasta to pizza, but let's also compare good pizza to irredeemable trash pizza. I have had shitty pizza. I mean, it was still pretty good because, look at me, I'm, I'm a little overweight because I like eating everything. But then there's pizza that's like fucking, it's like pizza, you know what I mean? It's like fucking, it's fucking pizza because it's so good. And that's when I, I'm like a dog when it comes to that pizza, I just not eat it at all. So like, if you said to me, I'm going to take the same game and do it, but better, that's difficult to do. And I respect that. If you take a bunch of different ingredients from different games and assemble it into something that somehow feels seamless, that's really impressive, and I, and I respect that. Oh. Flarbo says, agreed, my original point was about how some of the elements are like actual copy-paste from other games, like the fast travel title cards and sounds from Breath of the Wild, or the resource collection and mining from Fortnite. It's not just copying the idea, it's almost exactly the same. Yeah, I, I tend to feel pretty okay about that um, for two reasons. One, You want to work with the fact that people's brains come preloaded with information. All right, everyone. I have a common item, an uncommon item, a rare item, an epic item, and a legendary item. What color is the text for these? Gray, green, blue, purple, orange, period, right? If you said to me, hey, here's a common item and it's orange, and here's an uncommon item and it's gray, and here's a rare item and it's purple, it actually kind of messes with people's brains because so many people have done that pattern before. Um, and so I think that for some things, like the, the text that appears on the screen with the little twinkle, yeah, I agree. It's, it's directly lifted in a lot of ways. Um, Thank you, Tuesday Twitch. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's directly lifted, but it's also such a small component that I, I'm sort of... I'm more forgiving with stuff like that. And second, um, I do think that there's an argument to be made of we were trying to figure something out and we tried a bunch of stuff and it was strictly worse than that thing. Like, um, what's, a good, what's a good example? Okay, look at the, the, the letters F, V, and C that's right there. There's a lot of games that have done that. Why, why would we reinvent the wheel? I'm not going to create a new way to convey that. This, this is good. This will do it. And so I, I, I do get kind of amused at stuff like that. Uh... Where I'm like, wow, this is this, this is that, huh? But unless it's in like a really large quantity, I, I I personally tend to be pretty forgiving. All right, I have no way to test my theory. All right, I guess it's just me.
I'm just going to do a whole bunch of smashing. Yeah, or like the way that the, that it's highlighting things like this. Uh, or even the fact that this, this mining, you mentioned Fortnite. I've not played Fortnite outside of like very briefly once, I think. I have a vague memory of it. Um, I mean, I, I've seen this in a million and one games before Fortnite and outside of Fortnite. Uh, gross. We're burpling. I'm not allowed to talk about my favorite pal. I don't want to spoil anything. Rough Copper, you specifically have permission to say that. Inox is, didn't know uh, Minecraft, uh, Fortnite invented mining crazy. What we were talking about was the idea of the specific, like, animations and style and UI and all the specifics of it. I will be making ingots for some time. Oh my god, I, what is it? What is it in this one? Is it right click? Shotgun shells. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I forgot that someone was coming over today. And I like hear talking out there. And normally I don't hear anything, or I hear Brit talking to Cece. And so normally his, it's like a much higher pitched, like cheerful. I share a conversation and I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. My real base is being invaded. Oh my God. Oh fuck. Time to get my crossbow and shoot people in the head. And then throw balls at them. <laughs> you know what kind of balls I have? Blue. Purple, yellow. This joke is so stupid. This joke is so stupid, and I like this joke. Man. I need a bunch of wood chopping. What? Wire. Ah, oh, I can't. No, I can't move. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Ah. Uh. What, what? What's the buttons? Shift, click. Shift, click. Shift, click. Run. Why? This guy sucks. Just dumping stuff. No. 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 Fuck. Do I need more people on transpo? Yes, we're starting to get to some restrictions. Yes. Cancel F. Seven. Eleven. 
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so um, for those of you who are joining, no backseating, no tips, no anything. We know every mechanic in the game, period. We know all of them. In fact, we made the game. And I understand that this comes from a gross amount of enthusiasm. Like, oh my god, damn it, I, just question, I have an answer. Here it comes. But I'm speaking rhetorically always. Always, always, always. Until I say the magical words, please backseat me. I think I need more handy workers, huh? Come on, I'm locked on Paldium, huh? Oh. This is the first time when I actually am feeling a little bit of burden and a little bit of pressure. Mango Glider. Wait, what do I need for... I need some bone? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm having so many goals. This is great. Balls are the best. Oh, 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 oh. Whew. I still am a sleepy boy. Okay, so let's let me do some quick management. want to do this. So I'm going to need a lot of spheres, just generally speaking. Oh, shit, I have so much on me, don't I? Let me deposit all my garbage. Okay, hold, 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 everyone, hold. I don't know where the rest of the stuff went. So I can make 15 of these? So it's really polydium I'm low on. Beds, I have some food. Oh my god. Stewed Gale Claw. Dude, I'm just like making things work and I'm cooking them and I'm like making them eat each other. I mean, this is. This is so fucked up. Plenty of berries. Yeah, so I'm going to make middle balls. Sorry, I'm still thinking. I'm still processing. 23 middle balls. And what did I need for this? Some low and pallium, huh? All right, I'm going to do some repairs, and then I'm going to go get some pallium. This is the wrong thing. This, do this. Stone. Yeah. Huh. 
So, 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 so. And did my... My thing ever finish? Mega grappling gun. Alright, grappling gun. To the bin. What makes it mega? That's a greater range. Okay. So... Only berries. That's all we eat here is berries. Okay. <laughs> My graveyard of chests. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do some little little, little pallium, pallium gathering and pallium chatting. Oh wait, no, we're not. We're gonna go here and we're gonna see what the next level of stuff is. Oh, yeah, I need high quality oils. Charcoal. Is there any better? Ah, refined metal pickaxe. Ah, refined ingot. Okay. <sighs> See, like, right now we are actually beginning to hit some of the stuff that I really like, which is, wow, I'm having a hard time getting enough ore to get enough ingots. Can I automate that? I want to make an ingot, an ingot gobbling base where I just get a bunch of ore and I'm constantly smelting it. And that feels really cool. And I now want more weight. Because if I get more weight, then I can transport among my things more easily. And I think I need level 2 mining for that, I think. So it's funny, like, my, my opinion of the game is now, like, immediately sharply risen. So, I have my ore base selected. Automation is a very fun part of the genre. Mm -hmm. You know, this is one from like a 10 to a 4 to a 6. Yeah, I'd probably say probably a 7. <laughs> and so, you know, there's this thing that I talked about, about motivation and meaning and this sort of thing. I'm actually going to cancel this. I'm going to click this. I'm going to max this out. I'm going to get my PS5 controller. I'm going to put it on my F button. I'm gonna get the Tapatio so we can lean it. Great. So, chains of motivation. I've been talking about this the entire time I've been playing this game. Chains of motivation. Chains of motivation. Chains of motivation. Um, in this game, I am observing that I'm having this problem. I want more ingots to build all sorts of stuff. There's a lot of stuff I want to build. I'm not going to go into why I want to build that stuff, but I do. I want to build more advanced things to let me level up. Ingots seem to be ingredients for the spheres, which seem to be one of the best ways to get experience, so I want to get that, right? I just have some of this that I want to do. But I'm having a really hard time getting enough ore without me spending copious amounts of my time, so I want to automate it. Right away, awesome! The cool, desirable, higher-level stuff requires this resource that's hard to get, so I want to automate it. Mm. I'm engaging with the PAL system. I'm thinking about how to make more PAL boxes in key locations so I can actually get the stuff. I'm considering different locations, and I've picked my location. Nice. But I'm observing 
I think I actually need level two mining to mine ore. I'm not 100% sure of this. Like, you can see this little mining symbol here. I have pals that have level one mining. I have none that do level two mining. And so I'm like, man, if I can get level two mining pals, then I can test my theory at this other base that has a lot of ore. And upon, uh, thank you, no backseating, no spoilers, please. No backseating, no spoilers, no information, no nothing. Mods, timeout, thank you for one second, because that's how we punish people around here. But anyways, um, because now I want level two mining to be able to mine ore, to be able to get enough throughput of ore to make enough ingots to be able to get the stuff that I want, I now immediately want to go explore. I want to get these spheres. I want to go find new places. Like, that's that's really, 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 really good. And I hadn't felt that in, like, ten hours, almost. Alright, I have my balls. It's not a lot of balls, though. Stone. Alright. I'm gonna do a quick little stone thing. And I will say, one thing that I will laud this game for, it, it's very slow and slight and gentle about showing you more stuff. I mean, yesterday when I played in Shrouded, I mean, let me tell you, like, ten minutes in, my inventory was full of garbage, and I couldn't figure out what to do with almost any of that. in the morning. <laughs> Nothing got done while I was asleep. Alright, that's fine. Let me just get the top of tea over here. And dude, I swear, I swear, I think that this is, like, the most important thing in a game, whether it's a multiplayer, whether it's a single player. Is that alcohol? It is the most delicious hot sauce. Top two of the hot sauce? Yeah, no, I have it right by my computer next to salt and pepper. Because what I do is I have, uh, in the morning, I make eggs and toast. And I take the eggs and the toast and I bring it in here. And I, like, season it to taste. And I season it and I eat. Seasoning it. Seasoning it because there's a... This is me seasoning. In, in case... This is not me with 500 glizzies, to be clear. This is me seasoning because there's an actual grinder on the end. Seasoning. Um... <laughs> Scrambled? Zomnocker, I'm so glad you asked. When I make eggs, I do eggs. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people think that the pan needs to be on a really high heat. I don't do any of that shit. I put it on a low heat. Somewhere between medium and low, but generally a little bit more on the low side. I crack the eggs on there. I wait until the bottom of the surface has started to get a little solid, and then I wait just 20, 30 seconds, and I flip. And I catch it, and I don't have a turner to flip, because it's really annoying to clean. I would rather flip, miss, launch my eggs onto the counter and clean that up than have to clean that fucking turner every time. So you flip it, and then you let it let it on the other side sear a little bit, and if, if you keep it on a low heat, the heat will actually permeate into the yolk a little bit. And then you get a very gooey, soft inside. So it's not over easy, per se. Like, it it is if you had to force me to choose a name for what I do with my eggs. Oh. 
And so when I have that, the the the, the check the check is that the the top and the bottom are still perfectly white. Still perfectly, perfectly white. Because a lot of times when people do over medium or over hard, they have a really hot pan. And so as a result, if they want to get the yolk to be not runny, they wind up needing to like sear the outside quite a bit. So now, what are we going to do? Let's give ourselves some goals. So now, now I actually suddenly care a little bit more about my pals that are here. Lumbering, lumbering. Watering. Cooking. We don't need this as much. Anyone who's good on transpo, you know, I'll, I'll put another land ball out there. He's got a sprain. Right. Lock you out. So now we're going to go on to the hunt. to the ravine entrance. Ooh. It's real JC since the race started getting crazy mid-game. Uh, it's real JC, I cannot stress this enough. Please, no spoilers, no information about the future. Please, pretty please with sugar on top. I know it sounds good as some tea. Oh my god, it's a bronchberry. Go, King Paka, go! Berry, berry, and I got tomato seeds. Oh shit! Frank Snarr says, "How about day nine? I've watched other streamers. I'm excited for all the cool things for you to discover. I, I, I'm, I'm having a good time. Not gonna lie. I'm having an enjoyable experience. And you know, there's something that I noticed here earlier, which is like this shows what drops from them." Flame Morgan. Oh, Vixies give bones. Because I assume the bones are their dollars. <laughs> and that's the night the skeletons came to life. Hey, Krooms, how do you feel about the disconnect between the realness of the world art and the cartoonishness of the pals? I don't think it's a disconnect. I think that it is an incredibly thoughtfully composed art style. I think it's actually really, really good. And I'll show this in a second. I just want to keep looking at this. Oh, leather and bones from a rush ore. Oh my god, Wooly Pop, high quality pal oil. So, 
th there's um, there's a lot of things that I think. So I mean, like, what what are the simplest ways to? Yep, yep. Pose for me, please. Show me your booty. Yes. Now, please look at me as I give this speech. I want you to be as attentive as my King Paka. So, like, um, the biggest thing that draws the human eye is contrast. So, um, there's, there, I don't remember what the what the actual ranking is, but I know that motion is the first thing. So, as we're sitting here, that build button is flashing. It has movement associated with it. And in fact, let me... Good. I made it go away. Why does it say new build things? Oh, this is a nightmare. Does it just stay that way forever? Oh, thank God. Okay. So I think movement is the number one. Uh, but, I mean, other things after that is like contrast of colors. So if there's a bunch of people wearing red and one wearing blue, you're going to look at the blue person. If there's a bunch of people wearing blue and one wearing red, you're going to look at the red person. When things contrast and and with, with their surrounding visual elements on any axis, that's the thing that you look at that you pay attention to. It, it, it's contrast of visual elements. And so um, if you look at, say, Half-Life 2 had visuals in the environment that tended to be more desaturated colors and enemies or interactables tended to be much more saturated colors this is one way to create a contrast and without your brain even thinking about it it just starts to become trained in that way to look and think in that way and what you talked about about the difference in the visual style I think is an incredibly solid choice to make the world very visually parsable for what is interactable and what is not. So you can see this tree, for instance, has a lot of high intensity visual noise to it. It has like a lot of these sort of veiny looking things growing on it. There's barks of all different shades of color. You can see the grass has a lot of detail on it. And this guy, dude, his face has like a small handful of lines. There is some shadowing on the tummy, but it's basically flat white and then flat red for the the real gut, you know? And what this means is that it allows you to just glance quickly at the environment and just get what's interactable and what isn't. Even some of the things like these rocks, the way that like the, the highlight shader also has that same sort of chunkiness of these pals. And if I go back to where it's over here, it's not necessarily about physical objects having a look. Um, and pals having a certain look. I mean, frankly, it's almost maintained with a lot of the interactables, period. Like, look at this statue. It's beautiful, but it also has really chunky elements to how it's constructed or this chest that's over there's a chest here somewhere where's that chest well there was a chest and the chest also too kind of have the same blocky chunky look and i mean you could invert it you could have super realistic detailed um enemies and then a really simple flat environment There's all manner of ways to do it. I just think that it's a very smart way because, like, as I'm walking out here, I see these dudes, and look look at how if you just took a screenshot and things were not moving, you'd be able to tell which things were part of the environment and which things were not. Honestly, all the different categories of stuff look like they were made by completely different artists. That that can happen sometimes, where you say, here is the art style for the environment, and here is the art style for the uh, characters. I think, I mean, there, there's an argument to be made for, like, you know, it, but the environment actually looks like it is from a different game, and I don't like that. You know. I think there is merit to that argument that maybe these could have been pulled back a little bit and not been so, you know, so.
so realistic. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. But I don't think it was just like, look at these dumbasses just mistaking their way into making a game. Which is the narrative of lazy devs around this game is what hurts me the most. Yeah, I feel like it, it's it's more so a lot of people. You can take the memory set. I don't think I can. I think it's more so a lot of people have played the game, so any opinion is going to have an incredibly large amount of members. I think that by the same token, there's people who oh. Does that still go? Huh. There's a large amount of people who, who are like, oh my god, this is the best art style ever. But of course, angry things tend to spread on social media way more. By design. Ha! Violet Drift says, I've never met a lazy dev. I've met lazy devs. <laughs> ha ha! Let me tell you, they do nothing, nothing at all. They write a document once a week, man. They do nothing. I'm really excited to be able to share this document. I think I got a lot of good ideas. You didn't do anything this week. I don't know. Like, what do you think of the document? I don't know. It's, you know. Like, I've fucking met some lazy devs. I've met some of those. I don't know. Our team of 12 has rewritten the document several times, and we haven't coded or done art or written anything or made a level, and I just really wish people would take a look at this document. Get him! Get there! One more time, come on. Become a Hoposaurus, ow. the most powerful gamer of all time has raided us. Hafu. How are you? Hold on. I'm trying to one-hand it right now. Let me... There we go. I use both hands to capture that guy. A lot of times I just sit here and as it endlessly re-emerges, keep throwing. Oh my god, Hafu. How the fuck are you? Oh my god, Dara JN is here. Oh my god, it's double celebrity action showing up in chat. My god. Are drops enabled? Well, let me just warmly thank everyone from Hafu Stream for joining us. Uh, for any of you from my stream that don't know Hafu, she is the greatest gamer of all time. No joke. Pick a game, Hafu will play the shit out of it and become one of the best of all time at it. Including, like, chess. Just fucking crushes games. And then there's me. And I'm a clown. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I'm just so self-conscious. Guys, I've been playing this game. I have a king alpaca that I feel like represents me two years into the pandemic after the diet of Sapporo and Doritos that I was working on. Excuse me, not Doritos. Cheetos. I prefer them to have a little more volume. It's me. I'm level 23. I don't have... Well... I mean, I'll try it. What is this? What's the name of this? Is it? Oh, it's 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 Bussy. There it is. It's Bussy. Oh, quick. Oh, 
Oh, I love the King Paka. Reload. Ugh. Oh my god, why are you shooting me instead of the King Paka? I... Get, get out of the way! Ah! Can I shoot through my guy? No! Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Oh, what? She did the same move as Strider here, you and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That's crazy, man. I want to spawn here. And then once I spawn here, let me tell you where I'm going to spawn. I'm going to spawn there. That's what I'm talking about. I have no clothes and I'm a stream. All right. Go back to that bussy. Hey, um, Tuesday Twitch, what, is, what does that mean? What does that acronym that you typed mean? What does that even mean? Also, for those of you who have never seen my legs, they look just like my characters. Yeah. Oh, that's not the right button I meant to hit. You'll get them next time, day and night. Oh my god. How dare you acronymify that. Take all. Sort. I will probably put this here, that there, this here, this here, and that there. This is the game. Leg cam. <laughs> here's a cam for me, and here's a cam for my legs. Ah. Absolutely sat on. Quickly, do all the work, King Paka. Oh, this fucking asshole. <laughs> Get him, King Paka. For 32. We need to read the animations better. Out of, out of the way. Uh, Fucking asshole. No! God. Oh. All right, fine. Here. Yeah, I'm helping crossbow. Let me just put my hands casually in my pockets. Slash the insides of my pelvis. All right, fast travel to where I died. <laughs> Can't believe this acronym exists. I hate all of you. God, I hate the people that support my life and content and what I enjoy doing. Bunch of fucking assholes. All right, well, let's march away. Dapping to Twitch. It's probably been about three years since I've caught a live stream. Fan for over a decade. Mwah, I bet dapping to Twitch. Are you originally from YouTube? So you've probably tried to rewind me, but what you see is what you get, baby. This ain't a trick. No editing at all. Shadowcast says I hate you too. Oh, it's good to see you, Shadowcast. Shadowcast, I have a vague memory of you having a question that you were asking earlier on, like when I first went live, and I don't remember what it is. Am I out of berries? Oh. Oh, okay. I'm from Justin TV days, mostly following YouTube. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Why am I green? Why not? Oh, E. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, I'm almost dead. fucking bitch <laughs> dude i mean she hangs back more than margaret the fell omen like remember margaret when he's coming out with his hammer he like swings it up and he, he and then and then and then 
And then he throws down. You've already rolled three times. You don't even have stamina by the time he dunks on you, man. This fucking game. Why didn't Day 9? You'll get him next time, Day 9. I probably won't, but we're gonna definitely keep banging our head against this problem. Kidding me, I played Zerg on island maps. Oh! Ah! Go! Run! <laughs> Fucking run! Evasive maneuvers! It's dangerous outside! Ah! Oh! Get out of get out of the way! Ah! Oh! Come here, King Paka! Fucking go! I'm out of stamina! Run, 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 run! Ah, ah, ah. Ah. I need to organize. That's the first thing I need to do at all points in time, is organization. Like that. Quickly, eat berries. Ah, that was slower than when I was relaxed. E! Take a seat. One. Oh, I'm so fucking good! Oh my god, there's no way I can lose right now, man. 100% chance. Let me tell you, it's the most scared I've ever been. I've almost drowned. Oh! <laughs> Fuck out of the way! Have a seat. Got him. Oh, I'm so fucking good, man, but it makes my whole body tense. Get out of the way. Ah, that's, that's good. Fucking asshole. I'll take a silver medal to Hafu. It's cool. Ah, uh, yes. I have unused stat points. I want to weigh more. Here's a technique I used in the pandemic. I always hit this button. Every single time. Sean, do you want to improve your work speed? No, I'll improve my weight. Ah, oh, this is the game. What do I have? Some precious entrails? <laughs> Y-G-E-D not? Yeah. You get... You get... I love this meme of you'll get him next time, day nine. Oh, yeah. What is that thing? Uh, are you talking about my character? Are you talking about my King Paka? Are you perhaps talking about um, my... Is this a brawn cherry? What is... What's a brawn cherry? Alright, how do I... How do I leave? Ah, I found it. Slurped up my King Paka. Kevin MCC, there's one key detail that I think is important you may or may not remember. Oh, Kevin MCC. Like, let me tell you something. Like, when I when I feed my dog, she gets really wiggly. She goes... She, because I'm like, you know, I'm like like using the can opener. It's like... And it's, it's odd sounding can opener, but I don't know, it's the one we got. And she's... Uh, uh, and she's like trying to like, put her ears back to be as like, cute and small as possible. And she gets her, her big eyes. Uh, 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 and our dog doesn't bark. Our dog doesn't like get hyped up. But she does begin to breathe in like. 
And every time, Kev Mim, I see that you want to give me some thoughts on a new mechanic in this game, you remind me of my dog. Because I know we have a strict no back seating policy here. And I know that you know this. And the way that you... Sean, do you... Do you... Do you... And like... I just want to feed you so badly. I want to give you little scritches and be like, don't you fucking tell me anything. Like rubbing your little tummy. Like, shh, shh, shh. That's what I want. But Kevin, it seems like, it seems like a payoff is something that would make you really happy. And so I'm wondering, would you like to tell me how a mechanic that you think I may have forgotten worked? Would you like to tell me? I want to hear it. Just from you. I want to hear it. Tell me. Tell me. Just one thing, yes, you might already know. I'm ready, Kev, man. Shadowcast, how does it feel making fun of people in chat? Does it make you feel big? Oh, I'm so insecure. It makes me feel important again. Holy shit. I'm like, oh, someone who's trying to help me? Oh, what a loser. Right, everyone? Point and laugh. And inside, I'm like, good, that's bought me 15 more minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes passes. Uh-oh. Who else is being a real shitbag? <laughs> Elroy says, wait, I thought we were getting scritchies. I love to think of the scritchies. <laughs> it's a car. It says, holy shit, that's too real. Yeah. Your pals heal during combat when not summoned. So switching to a second pal can help a lot in important fights. You're not going to believe this. But I knew that. Isn't that crazy? You're not gonna be you're not gonna believe this. And because because you watch me play and I never slurp back the pals, you might have thought I didn't. But I just knew that King Paka could be trusted. But also if King Paka dies, I don't fucking care. I stuff him into a box according to the game's rules, and he's fine. Then I bust out Nightwing, who's like, hey, where's my friend? And I'm like, ignore the blood on the ground. King Paka's gonna be fine. Now go get him, tiger. I am a kind god. Uh, alright. So I think there were some molly pops over here. What are they called? Wooly pops? <laughs> Slamming. Ow. Ah! Whoa! Slam. Where are you? Oh, it's dead. Dude, the King Pock is actually a little too strong. More like Molly Wop, am I right? Mm hmm. <laughs> you like that one, Kazakh? <laughs> oh, I got some high quality pal oil. You know how we get pal oil, right? We set the molly wop onto a press and then we just squeeze. We only squeeze it once. That's called extra virgin pal oil. Yamasin, yeah, is there friendly fire in this game? I tested it three times. I don't think there is. Uh, mathematically speaking, proof by five demonstrates that no, there is no friendly fire. Let's fuck a girl! <laughs> Alert the Wally Wops. Going in? Nice. Shit, I'm gonna fucking die. Get back here! Fucking get out there! Ah! Slam it. Give me your pal oils. That's close, man. That was scary. You have iframes when you roll? 
I assume so. That would be the funniest roll ever. Here's a roll. It's purely a cosmetic maneuver. <laughs> um, what am I doing? Apo Koala. 148 months in a row, Apo Koala. How you doing, Apo? Apo Koala. Lovely and grand. Apo Koala. He's our man. Um, what in the hell am I doing here? I think I need to look at some more things to make. Stun baton? Oh, shit. I even have high-quality pow oil. Sulfur. Damn. Mm -hmm. Toastry says, you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Let me just... Let me... Can I... Let me have my character on screen facing the camera for a moment. You know, we're going to put this away. So that way, hands are in the body. Um, me and my pal. I want to just note something that is an interesting experience as a streamer. Which is, when people say you, I can never tell if they're referring to me. Or to that avatar. You have to understand how difficult it is when people come and go, Damn, Day9, you are thick. And I'm like... <laughs> Damn, Day9, you are thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. You are absolutely huge. Look at that ass, Day9. And I'm like... I'm reasonably certain we're talking about the character here. But I'm not 100% sure. And we are being overseen by my spirit avatar right here. I think I'll just head back to the base. I don't know. I'll, I think I'll... I don't know. I think I'll make a musket. i will make a fire arrow crossbow. Makeshift handgun? Is there a makeshift handgun? Mega glider. Megaglider. Pal essence condenser. What? Someone just got done playing auto chess and they're like, oh, that's going in the fucking game. Press the other Pokemon. Are you flirting with me right now, Shadowcast? Egg Incubator, I'm not doing that. Hip Lantern. Ancient Civilization parts. I don't even know where you get those. Yeah. <laughs> Gale Claw has the best screech. Ah! I need to get a Gale Claw inventory. That's so fucking funny. I want that as like my my text message alert sound. The, the mail pack is so annoying. Someone who's never owned a dog made the audio for the Dire Howl. Like, I can't... Like, this, this is exactly halfway between Bark Bark and Woof Woof. Just listen. Like, like, try to hear Woof Woof. And then try to hear Bark Bark. It's crazy. What? 
These were made within the same 90 seconds in the audio studio. These are all the same. It, it, it's just who. Why is this called a f why is this called a flock? Why is this called Fox Sparks? Sparkette Flock <laughs> What's the hot one? Fox Sparks. What's the electrical one? Sparkette. Huh? What's the ice one? Fuck. Fuck. What is this? It's quack with an F. Oh, frost quack? Frost quack. Fuck. <laughs> Is that what it is? Frost quack, man. That's that's dumb. Is if it, if it was like if it was an ice dog, would it be foof or fark? Fuck. All right, we got lift monk, Chicky pie, Kativa, and lamb ball. Lamb ball actually makes sense to me because it's lamb ball, but like fuck, frost quack, fuck. <laughs> oh shit, we got another raid. Oh my nah, just raided with a party of 66. Welcome everyone. We've just identified the funniest sound in the game. Here we go. Hold on. Where where is it? We I here it is. Oh my god, is there a raid? <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. Alright, let's do anything valuable. Yeah. Where's mining level two? Serpent. Mining one shit. Ah! Oh, lumbering three. Damn, I'm I'm definitely gonna put this one to work. Well, guess who's not too happy about being captured. Alright, so let's walk away from the corpses. Oh, everyone's hungry. We only eat berries here. Rock Crumb says, I love the water. He's just let me go puke all over this thing. Yeah, because, like, I think individually it, it kind of gets a little, huh, you know, oh, this is puking, huh? But, like, taken all together, we're like, like, this This is just cute, right? He's just, like, punching trees. He's, like, bowing and punching, and there's this guy. He's just running around. Like, seeing your little pals doing shit, it's just adorable. I, lo I love it. I love my pals. I love them. Well, let's go over to the crate graveyard. What what do we think is happening? Do we think it's eating? Do we think it's having a a fit? So I'll keep all my bullets. Working some berries. We all wish we could be working some berries. This needs repair. This needs repair. This needs repair. We're low on ingots again. Ingots. I can't not pronounce it that way. It's too good. No, I need to get lots of ingots. So important to me. All right, let's let's get our let's get this one turkey. Like, so you're out of there. Welcome. You are once proud and powerful boss. You now just get work done. Oh, lavander. Not a lamb ball, but better. We don't need more of this. Lavanders, get in there. 
Shadow Cast says, oh, here's a question for you since I forgot the previous one. How much do you think your lack of sleep had an effect on your enjoyment of the game yesterday? I would say very little. I think it affected my enjoyment of the day, but I think that my evaluation of the game is... is I still agree. Wait. Oh, it's more Levanders. Holy shit! Shit, they're dying too fast. That one. Three E. Oh my god. Ushi just teleported. No, 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 no. What was the evaluation? I think Enshrouded has a lot of great legs to it, but in terms of its, like, current composition, I genuinely think that, like... Oh, it's a combo attack. Oh, shit, I just hit everyone with that. Okay. I think I, I gave it a relatively low rating because I felt like that nothing was happening in the game. There was no exciting, thrilling... Oops, this is my box. There was no exciting, thrilling stuff that occurred in the game. And I mean that quite literally. By level. Call deck number, there we go. What am I looking for? Where are, where are these guys? Oh, they're right here. Jeez. Um, okay, so these are good at mining and handiworking. So basically, I want to I want to make sure I have one of these for farming. Floppy, we don't need. Because I don't cook anything. Nice. Okay. Alright. Weapon bench. Oh, we need ingots. I mean, this isn't really going to help me very much. You know what? Why not? Why not? I'm just going to do some quick, boring stuff. It's snooze o'clock. This is what we're doing for a little bit. It's time to do some tasks. That task. All right. I am day nine, AMA. Yes. So right now my goals in the game are, first I'm just gonna stock up some ore so I can get some more ingots in production. Cause I just seem to need infinite numbers of those. So I may as well. The second thing that I need to do is um, continue to explore and try to find some mysterious unseen Pokemon pals. I'll then be hunting for something that has mining too, so I can test my theory about building in this base. 
a bunch of automatic ore miners. And then that will have solved my ore problem. The next thing I want to do is I want to try to find sulfur and charcoal. And I think I already have a way to make charcoal. But, I don't know. Can't be certain. Sneepa says, can you tell us any secret info about Stormgate? I know as much as you, my dude. Well, assuming that both you and I watched video of Stormgate when it was doing its, like, alpha, beta, early access streamy thingy. I'm literally going to do this a few times. Compellingly. So I had to respond some top secret, top secret stuff. On New Rom's the Stormgate would definitely tickle my good RTS withdrawal, dude. I will say, on New Rom, have you played Age of Empires 2? Have you played our grandfather, Age of Empires 2? It's so good, dude. It's just so good. It's it's stupidly good. I play Age of Empires 2 every week with my friends. Yes! Ah! Yeah, the game owns. Monkey Man Railgun says, hey man, should be open to a suggestion regarding ore procurement. I don't think so. I think I'm good. Oh, wait. I do. I need to kill these guys. Is this gives me. This gives me something I want. Yeah, leather and bones. I need bones. New AoE -E bad? Oh, dude, Age of Empires 4 is fucking awesome. Awesome, it's so good. Age of Empires 2, it's, it, it's one of those, like, the difference between, like, an 8 or 9 out of 10 versus a 10 out of 10 for me emotionally. Yeah, one of the reasons why I constantly need ingots is I need them to make my good pal balls. Oh my god, I'm just so big. Oh, I'm just so heavy. Oh, oh, I'm just so huge. Oh, yes. Oh, I wiggle my pickaxe as I make my way to fast travel. I could put this down. I'm not going to do it. I'm walking. We're walking. Shadowcast says, are s'mores the only word that starts with SM? And immediately Throne Chair says, smile. And then Shadowcast TV says, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, smelt, smack, smite, small. Actually, now, now that you're listening to them all, because the only one I could think of was Schmegma. That was the only one. Smooth, smoothie. <laughs> smelt. Oh man, I didn't realize we we're all gonna dogpile on you, but wow, look at that, it's happening right before our very eyes. Thought about it for a good 20 seconds. Yeah, no, I couldn't think of any when you said it. It was rough, like, you're like, if it wasn't for someone else saying it, I was in the same boat as you. I was like, is, it's just s'mores, huh? We can probably get rid of one of those letters. And then people are like, smooch, smile, s'more. Hold on one second. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, 
I'm getting spam in my Discord. Alright. So, what am I doing now? So, I have these, these ingots getting ingotted. Also, I need some more stone, but I can make a little stone mine thing. Yeah, let's, let's, let's make both of them. Punch away, baby. Okay, so what, what do I want to do right now? I... I, mean, I can make a muscat. I mean, I may as well, because I like making things. I need more gods. <laughs> oh my god. Rush poor pork. Can can you check the pal deck number for Lavander, please? Fucking no. Hmm? Because let me tell you something, that has been getting spammed in my chat for about four fucking hours. You know, you know, everyone on the count of three. One, two, three, sixty-nine. There it is. We're it's done. Okay, now everyone at the same time. Nice, nice. Are we done here? Are we done here? Okay. Oh my god. Why do I even turn the stream on? I should just duct tape my eyes shut, open up the game, and play so I don't have to deal with reading this. Ugh. Get the spray can ready. Yeah. Day nine, please. Please, day nine. Go to the PAL deck and look at Lavander's number. Please. Let me get my spray can. <laughs> oh, no, I just wanted to look. You know what? We don't know what 70 is. Okay, okay. And? There's 55. And that's what 68 is. It's Tombat. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, day nine, yes. Look at the number. The number is hilarious. Ha 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 ha. Oh, what a hoot. You're making me. Day nine, I'm hooting. The number is 69. And look at the character. This was made by developers that went, you know what, every idea, let's put it in the game. How about a character that's sexualized and is, I don't know, a velociraptor. Someone had a weird sexual awakening during Jurassic Park. The guy said clever girl and someone was like, I'm putting that in the game in 20 years. That probably happened. Fine. It's fine. There it is. It's Lameo-ish. All right. <laughs> Absolutely hooting. Hooting. And then there's one of you that there that's like... Lavanders, we're definitely going to rule 34 that one. Uh-oh. I'm going to go into Google's incognito mode to do a quick search. And yes, it's because I'm shopping for a gift. That's why I went to incognito, of course. <laughs> rule 34, that Quinale. You do want to go into incognito mode if you're going to Google that. <laughs> Just eat some meat. Oh yeah, deposit these turkeys. Well, Darren says, I'm more familiar with 68, which is where I go down to my partner and they owe me one. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, yes. Yes, psychological debt. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. We need to focus. We need to stop saying dumb words and do things. Well. Dude, I mean, come on. This is so funny. I mean, that's hilarious. That's so good. Um, what am I wanting to do now? We have some ingots getting made. <laughs> okay. I can make one. I'll make it. I'm going to hold the F button. I'm done with that garbage. All right. Time to go hunt Pokemans. Less trouble. Yeah. Uh oh, it's it's a van worm. Hold on, I got my crossbow. I'm reloading. Oh. Fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> Melted. Bones. Ammo. Yo, riding that King Paka is gonna be just banging, dude. Okay, well, I, need, I need to choose a direction. I'm gonna go this way. We're gonna go north. North. Uh, this might actually be a good time for a little break. So our YouTube's doesn't get too big. Whoa. Surfing. Dude, my aim fucking sucks. Holy shit, that's so much fucking damage. Dude, he's just, he, like, my King Paka is so good. Hey, has anyone finished uh, the television series Servant? That amazingly is by... Um, M. Night Shyamalan, and it's really good. I'm like, I started the first season a while ago, and then my life was just kind of stressful, and when I wanted to unwind, I didn't want to watch a show that was really good at stressing me out. Get in there! I actually really like a lot of M. Night Shyamalan stuff. I know it's, it's... Oh, got a lot of PAL fluids. I know it's, like, very in vogue to crap on his work. Especially with the, the Avatar Last Airbender movie. First couple seasons were really good. We've lost two in later seasons. Wait, but isn't it only like three seasons? Huh. Become a become absorbed, Dara Jane. So I haven't actually seen much of his newer stuff. I think I've watched almost everything that he's done. Somehow. Without even realizing. Mm, wait, I think I'm lying. Yeah, I've watched like none of his new <laughs> I'm oh content esports esports content. Yeah. I've got a serpent, including Devil. Devil. Devil is a fucking great movie. I rewatched that one recently. It's so good. Oh my god, yeah. For any of you who want just a really effective... Uh, uh, shit. A really effective, solid horror movie that doesn't overstay its welcome, I recommend Devil. Devil is a great movie. I'm adding that to my 10 out of 10 list. Hold on. 10 out of 
Okay, drive.google.com. Okay, where's my 10 out of 10? Okay, scroll down here. TV movies. RR. Okay. Uh, Devil. Yeah, that one's good. Keep a list of media that I think gets a 10. And I had one in TV and I forgot. Oh, I need to keep doing it. Movie with people in the elevator? Yeah. You watch horror movies? Yeah, I actually think I really like horror movies. I don't like being scared. Bad dog. Oh, it's a mozzarella. What about be a horror movie? No way I captured that. I'm fucking sick. Oh yeah, Split was great. I'm gonna go shoot this cow. Oh shit, it tracks. Ha! Ha! Event Horizon, that is a movie I will probably never be able to get through. It's a little too gruesome. I, I remember trying to watch the new, um, the, the new Cenobite movie, the new Hellraiser one. I mean, it was very good, but it just is a little too gruesome. Kind of upset me. Oh, shit. Go! Yeah, like, I really like, you know, like what you're saying about the lore of horror. I really like the sort of world and lore. I think the, the best horror movie that I've seen recently is Barbarian. And that one is right on the edge for me, of being too much. And recently I've been... Oh, that was good. Recently, um, I've been, like, just talking uh, among my friends more about, like, yeah, I actually think I kind of like a lot of horror stuff. And I'm discovering that, like, almost all my friends, like, also struggle with horror. <laughs> Maybe not almost all, but a large number of my friends also are just like, dude, it just gets too scary. I killed him. Chromosome says, yeah, I watched Barbarian on your recommendation. That's why I hate you now. Man, I'm sorry. Get him. Yeah, Hereditary I also think is great, but that Hereditary, like, really upset me. Oh, Cabin in the Woods is another of my absolute favorites. Is that in here? Down in the woods. Love that movie. Just naming all my favorites. Yeah, let me let me hit you with this list. Let me hit you with the list. So here here are our list of movies that I think are ten out of ten. Now, I'm always adding to the list. So if you're like, why didn't you put that? You just need to literally duct tape your mouth shut, duct tape your eyes shut, and go around and going because it would contribute more than saying why didn't you have that on the list. Do you understand me? Wow, Sean is really adversarial. Let me make up something that you might do and fuck that thing I just made up. This thing that I've just invented, I hate that thing. Oh, there goes the corpse. Okay. All right, where's my mouse cursor? All right, so uh, under sci-fi movies that I rate a 10 out of 10, we have The Fifth Element, Aliens, Terminator 2, The Matrix, Groundhog's Day, Starship Troopers, Ex Machina, Annihilation, Edge of Tomorrow, Dread, and Everything Everywhere All at Once. That's the largest category. 
Uh, for fantasy, we have Pan's Labyrinth, Shape of Water, and Eremintari, the Devil and the Blacksmith. All right, under action, we got John Wick movies, we have Die Hard, we have Man from Nowhere, and RRR. RRR, <laughs> everyone needs to see that. Mm, excuse me. You see that movie in the original Telugu. Uh, um, for anime, we got Akira, Ghost in the Shell, and Princess Mononoke. Great. Uh, for animation, we have Inside Out. Uh, under, I put Thriller because I don't really know where to put these. Uh, I have Nightcrawler, Sin City, Collateral, and The Outfit. Under Horror, I have Barbarian, The Thing, The Fear Street Movies. Everyone needs to see The Fear Street Movies. They're on Netflix. They're so good. Uh, Devil and Cabin in the Woods. I also, under Adventure, I put Paddington 2. <laughs> and under Comedy, I put The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. So those, those are my movies, and they're very incomplete. They're very incomplete. I'm sort of adding to it. Oh, right over here, it's a fuck. I've caught a fuck. <laughs> no Lord of the Rings. I, I really need to rewatch Lord of the Rings because it's one of those things that, like, when, when you start a Lord of the Rings movie, it never actually ends. You can't actually sit down and watch the whole thing. You start it, and then at some point you get distracted, but you don't stop the movie because it's about four and a half hours long, so you may as well just let it keep running and get some errands done, and then you come back, and you can't tell if it's still the movie that you're watching or whether it rolled over to the next one. And then at that point in time, you're starting to get tired, so you may as well leave it on, and you go to bed, and you get up, and all of a sudden, they're in the middle of that epilogue that is like 90 minutes long. Uh, it just fucking takes forever. So, like, it, I, I have a bunch of flits of excellent stuff from Lord of the Rings, but I've never actually sat and watched it all the way through recently. Why are you guys saying blasphemy? What, what, what's blasphemous about, fuck, those movies are long? There's no blasphemy. This is, you know what? What's blasphemous? Justify your claim of blasphemy. And if you don't, then you're blasphemous. Huh? How about that? Reverse it on you. Reverse it. I just said it's, it's, it's a lot of time investment to just watch that stuff. That's like going, oh my god, are you saying the days of our lives is has weird plot arcs? Which one? Have you watched all? 40,000 episodes? Yeah, because, I mean, it, it's it, they're good movies. Every time it comes on, I'm like, this is a good movie. But I haven't like just like sat and been like, I really want to watch this. Libertad says, you saying you can't sit there and pay attention to an amazing piece of cinema? I've seen it like a thousand times, just not contiguously recently. I'm saying I don't have the patience to sit and rewatch the whole thing on a first viewing. Sort of like attention. I watched all that shit in theaters before there were even cell phones, you blasphemer claimer who has no evidence to support it. And I sat there, both knees, face to the screen the entire time. And when I got out of it, I said, it's good. And ever since then, it's just occasionally on the TV fucking while I'm doing chores. I have no idea what's in the first or the second or the third movie. I have no idea because it's one continuous 13-hour experience, okay? And the only thing that I'm actually capable of doing for 13 hours is sitting there grinding Twitter going, Yeah, this guy's wrong. Huh, this guy's wrong. Huh, this guy's wrong. Huh, this guy's wrong. I could do that shit all day, all right? And don't tell me you can't do that either. That's actually what most of us are doing while watching me right now. That's a good point. I disagree with that point, Day9. I don't agree with that. Oh, that's not true, Day9. I don't think you have good nerd cred. I fucking know. That's why you're here so much. My God. <laughs> Maldarian says, I deleted my Twitter to get healthier. Dude, <laughs> I know there's going to come a day where I'm going to delete Twitter. And like within four weeks... All my finances will be in order. There'll be no more chores that need to be done in the house because they're finished. I'll have like hung art. I will have like a, like a perfect like V line 
figure because I've lost quite like it's just I'm one Twitter deletion away. <laughs> By the way, I hope all of you know I'm being kind of just like goofily joking. I don't I'm not actually here being like, how dare you? I think the Lord of the Rings movies are great. I, I need to rewatch them. Because I only started making this 10 out of 10 list like two, three years ago. See how much less interesting the sincere thoughts I have in my head are? Oh! Cooking the Rebunny! Sincere thoughts are for the weak. I agree, Shadowcast. Only a coward shares their thoughts sincerely. <laughs> Goofy movie isn't 10 out of 10. Oh, that one's real good. That one's an excellent movie. Yeah. But come, my... Come, my, my pal. <laughs> oh, let me reload. Oh. Absolutely going off the top rope. Joe says, we all agree Star Wars is bad then. I love this absolutely unnecessary escalation. Is Star Wars not on your list? Yeah, I kind of want to rewatch those movies. Wow, so we all agree it's trash, right? John Williams really didn't know how to compose, right? <laughs> it's just it's extreme things. Is there how much you love K-dramas? What do you think of Pride and Prejudice? Dude, I, Brit showed me Pride and Prejudice recently, and that movie is... It's, it's like a proto-version of a Korean drama. Like, it's, it's, it's unrefined. It's kind of getting there. It has the tropes, but it's just not. Who, who are these Rebunnies? Hold on. Get them. I'm gonna die. Fuck. You know, normal difficulty or hard normal. Even though I could handle hard. Gold. Arrows. Gold. <laughs> Alright, let's pump them full of meat. Amy uses a uh, watching business proposal. President Kong is totally Mr. Darcy. Oh, yeah, Kang Te Mu. Oh, my God. Oh, Kang Te Mu. Crying his name out. Oh. oh, what was her name? Shinari. There it is. Yeah. <gasps> Shinari. Oh, she's crying in the rain. Because he can't handle the rain, so he kicks her out of the car. <laughs> All right. Where is this? Where am I? Fanglo? This is not... Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna get a Fanglo! Hold on, let me hit it Hit it with the 3, hit it with the E. Oh! I'm gonna see the notebook. The notebook is a, is it the, the movie is mean. It is a cruel movie, made by not nice people. Am I in the right spot? What is this? He's got a. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I need, I need to go on a break. I need to use the restroom. I need to take a break.
They have flamethrowers, and I'm still using just basic arrows. Oh, wrong button. Oh, get in there. Oh, 6% straight in. Dude, I love the King Paka just slamming. Well, there's a Relaxaurus. Alright, we are going to take the teeniest, tiniest, widowest of wakes. 